Kiwikaki versus Reset, best of three, qualifying match here. Winner goes on with the likes of Insup and Hitman. Northern Isles map one, here we go. Bottom left here is Kiwikaki, upper right here is Reset. As I said, probably going to be a Farseer from Kibukaki for reset. Probably going to be a Keeper. Yeah, we'll be the Keeper. Headhunters, as Happy has shown us to be very strong against Night Elf recently. That's Stripes, thanks for the 420 bits. Says, welcome to America, baby. Welcome. Welcome. I'll take another bite just for you, Stars and Stripes. Appreciate you. Here's another bite. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not just for the bits, but for allowing me to have another excuse for another bite of the succulent donut. Demon or for reset? It makes me wonder if he thinks this is the best response to the the keeper, because although keeper, okay, or best response to the farce here. Sorry, distracted by the chocolatey goodness. Um. Best response to the Farseer because Mana Burn on paper is good against the Farseer, but Demon Hunter has a uh, indirect disadvantage. That is, he's weak to Naga Second Tower Rushes, whereas Keeper not so much, um, which is why people tend tend to go. Um, no, I'm choking on Donut, which is why people tend to go Keeper instead against the Farseer, even though it might be worse directly against just the Farseer itself. Mara gets wand, that'll double up with the mana burn. Might want to fire me again? Hey, that donut just made you five bucks, Neo, alright? Made you five quick ones. Easy. Alright, Wisp comes in. A player's forces are under and her sees the Wisp. Kiwikaki was not the best creeping, I will say, but uh, it's going to end up being alright. Reset. Gets terrible, terrible items. Unfortunate. Oh, so you do actually... So it is better to drop the circlet than to keep the circlet for the strength. Interesting. Well, I appreciate you sorting that out, Chuddy, because that was uh, that would have bothered me for the next week and a half not having the answer to that, and I would have never sorted that out. Forces are under attack. And all the items sold. Reset could buy circlet and boots. No, this donut was from a local bakery, everybody. A local bakery. Kiwikaki needs the pressure. I would not be surprised to see Kiwikaki at all just get a Nog at tier 2 and just Tower Rush. And reset going to start preparing for that. Archer should die. Yeah. And this is all just gravy damage right now for Kiwi. We know what he's thinking. We know what he's thinking. He's preparing. I'd be very surprised to see Kibikaki not all in at tier two. This is enough for level three. Bad items all around Talisman now, Jesus. Doesn't matter if it's enough for level three. Reset comes in for the Creep Jack. Plus one attack on the way. A player's forces are under attack. And tier two is gonna finish for both players in five seconds. And then for reset, Panda second would be standard, but Naga might be necessary. Could also be Keeper second, but probably not. And Shadow in her second would be cocky. All right. Again, I think he could just grab a Naga and go 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 if he wanted. I think that would work just fine. But it 
could be wrong. He's very experienced. He might be one of the more experienced Farseer against Night Elf players in the entire world, actually. How long he's been doing it for. And there's the Panda second. Kiwi gonna have to go back home now. Oh, nice head on her micro so far. Breath will secure one, though. Spirit Lodge, Troll Regen. Okay, standard. Standard play from Kiwi. Wisp comes in. Reset, not. A little bit of sleeping at the wheel there. But still we will get it thanks to the boots. Might actually get both of these. Or three. He could get four. He could get four. He could get five. He gets six. Oh, but no. Kiwi Kaki perfectly calculates and gets the Demon Hunter instead. See, I didn't even expect that shadow. How is Reset supposed to expect it when I can see the whole map? I would have gone for the head hunters too. And Panda would love this XP, but the resummon is there. Kiwi, is he going tier three yet? No, not yet. A player's force are under attack. Won't start creeping very aggressively though. Any forward shop positions you like for Northern Isles? No, just here is where I tend to build my shop. Here. And then here. And actually with these shop positionings, you can creep the Murloc. And you can um, you can actually buy salves and start salving as you're creeping this. Which tends to be what you do for Blade, but you can do it with Farseer, I guess, as well. But you don't have a shop that early with Farseer. Other than that, it's not really anywhere. Um, sometimes, like, here can be decent. If you're setting up for a future push. Like, say you're setting up for, like, a Tier 2 Tower Rush. And you don't want to build the shop super aggressive in their face. These sort of positions are pretty strong. Um, just so you have it done at least by the time you go across the map. Or like right here is pretty decent for a similar reason, but it's more common to be cancelled. The red camp, it will almost never be scouted. Shadow Hunter getting a lot of creeping done. Reset struggling to get level 3, but at least getting some. Camp, Demon Hunter almost back out. Kiwi is now going tier 3. Boots above loss. Alright, not terrible. Or maybe it is terrible. There's the DH. Reset. Not gonna have bears probably in time for Kiwi. To uh, push with Berserker. If that's the timing Kiwi is looking for. DH, by the way, is still level 1 mana burn. Kiwi might be able to just fight right now. Honestly. Oh, Reese is being so defensive right now. You need to take risks when you're behind like he is. Ancient of War found. But honestly, good for Reset because I think Kiwi was eyeing the red camp. Is under siege. Players forces are under attack. And Kiwi's tier 3 is about to finish. He's got plus 2 attack and Shaman Adept to finish perfectly on time with the Berserker and the Bloodlust to follow. As well as plus 3 attack. Look at all the lumber Kiwi's got. And that's just because he delayed the tier 3 so long. Reset Master Training on the way, but where are the bears? He's only got one soon, which will be mostly for Rejuve. Here, out of mana, but Shadow Hunter is the important one when it comes to mana points. TC third. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, and purge! It's going to be two dead archers. These archers are pretty good against headhunters. They take reduced damage, so if you can keep those alive, it's much more valuable than, for instance, in a bear mirror. A strong timing for him to fight. Haze Fire is nice. He'll wave his nicer, but one Shaman still falls. Bear morphs over, but taking a ton of damage. Staff is off cooldown in one, but not on time, actually. We might just be owning here. At least that's still no level 2 mana burn. Yeah, Purge, Kiwi. 
ton of damage here. He's probably just gonna be pushing to victory. Is he really gonna back away right now? I feel like the last thing he wants is to allow this panda and this demon to get level 3 apiece. I feel like that's the only chance Reset has, but he's going to do it smartly and uh, take the camps around Reset's base. So he's not only creeping himself, but not allowing still Reset to get level 3. Ring from the lab. PC here with Aura. Stomp would be nice though, can't complain with a stomp here if he had gone for that. Just come in for the detonate, but the panda's the one out of mana currently. Oh, reset. What's that kill? Ooh, he might get level... No, very close to level 3 panda, but one kill away. Bear, fumbly bumbly, but staff solves. Oh, is Kiwi over committing? It's possible. Yeah, level 3 Panda. Bear will go down. Level 3 DH now. And of course, if Reset's trading like archers for shamans, that's much better for Reset because these shamans need, you know, mana. They need to use their mana before they really get any value. They need to have mana to get value. Bloodlust finishing. More bears on the way. He, he had a really strong timing there for a second, but then in creeping this lab, he gave reset just enough time to reset. Plus three attack. Wouldn't be surprised to see us soon. Beast here in the way for Kiwi as well. Dakota would be quite nice. Wouldn't it be nice to have a Kodo? Breath of Fire gonna find one more head hunter, but reset has to be careful with his now orbed up demon hunter. Oh, bears find some nice connections. The Dryad's slow in the back as well. Kiwi is losing a lot of units. Uh-oh. Demon Hunter. He's gonna run away. Gets a heal scroll. Staff is off cooldown for the bear. Is there a purge? No. This archer will need her end. Reset is winning now. But Kiwi is pulling ahead in hero levels still. So maybe Kiwi's still ahead. But nice comeback there from Reset. Kiwi overstayed his welcome on the night outside of the base. Of the map, rather. And level 2 now in the Torn Chieftain. Reset could focus more on solo creeping his panda. I think that'd be a great choice. If he could just solo creep this... This, maybe get a red camp on the panda, he would be 4.5. And level 5 panda wins games in this matchup. Wins games in every matchup. Let's just say wins games. So I don't think aggression is the play for reset. I think he should just be trading camp for camp and solo creeping that panda. Now Kodo comes in. Staff out on one of the bear. Kodo devours another. But is being focused on by the Dryads. Demon Hunter is heal scroll. Really nice heal scroll, but the town portal is late staff off cooldown though. But Kiwi wins that fight. He's going to get another bear as well as this one that's devouring. But it will take a while for this devour. It's, it's going to take another minute and a half or so. But still even supply for that in the Kodo, of course. Try it. Going to slow that Kodo. Stop that Kodo. That continues to be aggressive. Panda could get a nice haze fire. Just the fire. Just wants the Kodo kill. Heal wave is here. Mana burn could solve, but no town portal out will have to be used. It's a nice staff on the dryad, but reset man. Creep that panda up. I'm gonna be that guy at the party with the just say just say it one more time, come on. <laughs> yeah, the, the the fumbly bumbly, true. True. What can you say, man? Sometimes people just have fumbly bumbly butterfingers. What are you supposed to do? Reset continues to push across the map. There's so much to creep. 
And he had map control. How do we know he had map control? Because Phoebe was back into his base. But now he's given up all sense of map control. He's allowed Kiwi back into the game, and he's allowed Kiwi now to take a red cam. Whereas Reset, how much time has Reset spent not creeping, just moving across the map, and then town portaling, and then moving across the map? Now Kiwi is in an excellent position. There's pretty much no way that Reset's going to win this next fight. He's got tons of mana. He's got incredible items. His TC's level 3 now. There's just almost no way. And now Reset runs all the way across the map, has to run back home. This panda could have easily been 4.5 now. Easily. And then you're just one fight away from level 5. You get that? It doesn't matter if there's a supply advantage for the orc. It really doesn't. Yeah, it was... The comeback from Reset was good. He was behind after the early game, but then he just... He played this just... In my opinion, not correctly after that. Expansion will be cancelled. Just so much time spent running around on the map. Not creeping. Illusion bears, though, are nice, but they're kind of telegraphed. Yeah, they're all purged away immediately. We see. We'll get a big stomp. Has a greater mana for the next one. Could drop the pendant as well. And a one more breath will be good. But everything is so low now for reset. Plus three attack finishes for Kiwi. 50 against 51. Panda cannot be staffed out. And Demon Hunter's next on the menu, certainly. And we'll go down. And Kiwi's going to get the 1-0 lead here. Try to reset there, but that's 1-0 for Kiwi. Going into map number two. Just the best at three here as well. So if Kiwi wins this, he'll be qualified with Hitman and Insup, as expected kind of from this qualifier, but Reset's made a good run of things. What will map two be? Being chat. All right, can I have some more of my donut now? Come on. Go oh, stale. Map number two will be Tidehunters. Keep me up 1-0. We'll see if Reset can pull it back. Here we go. Upper left, here's Reset. Bottom right, here is Mr. Kiwikaki. We'll see, will it be straight Farseer Headers again? Will it be Demon Hunter again? Or will it be the Keepa? will eventually be Farseer Headers. Could be getting some extra lumber. So the worm mill's not too early. It's something I don't do ever. Wait, is he not? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Is this straight tech? Looks to be a fast tech from Kiwikaki. Is he doing his patented Instatech Torin build? Which might be the slowest build ever when it comes to immediately going for a tech choice in the game.
Every time I tune into Carson's having a donut, coincidence? I think not. Keeper, coincidence? I think not either for reset. Um, making some adjustments from the last game. But Kiwi also, honestly, <laughs> I feel like Demon Hunter would have been better against the fast tech, and Keeper would have been okay, better against the Farsi Hunter. So Kiwi attack. is kind of getting the right end of this deal both games around. Everyone's allowed to eat at work, Jimmy. <laughs> Everyone is. Find him five thousand dollars. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to sell my guitar and my computer. And even then, I won't have enough, Neil. Come on. Bro Rush, you're supposed to be on my side. I modded you in my chat for a reason, Bro Rush, alright? Could take it away just as easily. <laughs> a town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Treants creeping, but they won't be able to do it on their own. Kiwi Barracks, War Mill, Late Headers. Oh, the single treant. Love it. He just summoned a peon. of appearance for Kiwi for his headhunters here and the Farseer, or rather Keeper, still struggling to get level 2. We'll be able to get it now, which means this headhunter might not live for too long. Mantle of Intelligence. As long as this Keeper isn't on level 3, Kiwi's going to be fine and dandy. Alchemist second. Alright. Acid Bomb Alchemist. Interesting. Always terrifies me when people go into there to buy items, but he buys the staff so he can get out. Fear Lodge is going to be cancelled actually. Nice little timing here from Reset. Found. Kiwi going to counterattack. He might be able to get some damage done. Ooh, big acid bomb. Bam! Oh, actually, still really good though. And there is dust. Oh my god, this could be every archer dying potentially. If Reset doesn't come back. This very well could be every archer dying. There's two already. A third is for sure on the table. A player's forces are under attack. And three. Oh goodness. Oh goodness me. Goodness gracious. There's three. This is why we typically see when archers get pressured like this, them just split into five different directions as opposed to all running in a group. Because you'll, you're always going to get the one, but then you can't kill the rest of them. Okay, but just three. I thought it would be much worse. A player's forces are under attack. Spear Lodge was cancelled and rebuilt. So at the end of the day, not too bad for Mr. Reset. As he continues to build archers. No lores? Is he playing Mass Archers? I would love to see Mass Archers. He might be. 
Triple orb mass archers. I mean, that might beat anything Kiwi Kaki can throw at him. Thinking back to Ark versus Kiwi on Concealed Hill. Kiwi had, I think, Bloodlust of Torrens and Mass Archers won. Oh, there's a single lore. Ooh, will it be one lore Mountain Giants? No, he's, he's up for the Ancient War. The expansion now from Kiwi Kaki. That's a weird expo timing, but it's uh, not a bad timing. For sure, it's unorthodox. Here comes with the Creepjack. Acid Bomb lands pretty well. Marcher will fall. Town Portal out, or oot, as you might say. And Alchemist gets level 2. Is he gonna go for Heal Spray? I imagine, right? May not have enough mana though. Could be Chemical Raid, which would be pretty sick against archers, but much worse later on. No, yeah, Heal Spray. No, yeah, Heal Spray. An Ancient Protector, that's the last thing you want to be building when your opponent's expanding. And Kiwi will scout everything right now. Will be pretty happy about what he sees. First we get a heal, that's also quite nice for Kiwi. And the Naga. He needs to get level 3 again. The Keeper, not going to be too valuable on level 3 any longer because the Shamans are on the field, but the Naga still can be. Expansion has yet to be scouted. What did he get here? Did we see? Did we see what he got? What did he get? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Alright. I missed some. I missed some crucial piece of evidence there. It's Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick though. I know that at least. I want to play Clue. I want to play... I want to have a board game night. Alright? I said it. I said it. Level 3 Alchemist. And AP coming up. So the expo has been scouted, but there's a tower in range. But this could be a bear bust. If only the Naga was level 3, but level 2 might be good enough with the tier 3 advantage that Reset's going to have for maybe the rest of this game. Kiwi's going to have to hold. He's got a supply advantage, though, so it's not going to be the most difficult hold, especially scouting everything now. And here comes Reset. Bears are done. I don't know where the uh, other bears are, but one might be good enough. Tower will fall. We scrolled Alchemist who needs Chemical Rage. Push of Vulnerability passed over. Staff can be used as well afterwards, but the creeps are getting involved in the action. I think the AP attacked the creeps. Hashtag blame the AP. Blame the trees. He knows he just has to hold, and he's probably got this in the bag, so he's just going to tower up. Could even get spikes if he wanted. And then eventually he'll go tier 3. And probably close this out, honestly. Reset is going to be struggling to really find an advantage any longer in this game. Ah, it was Rune Bracers for Reset. Okay, so they both got Rune Bracers. Played board games via tabletop simulator. Is that a game on Steam or something? Gosh darn it, I'll buy it tonight. I want to play Clue. Who's in? Who wants to play Clue with me tonight? Unironically, I want to play Clue. Unironically, bears don't seem that good against headhunters. Piercing damage is pretty strong. 
Vader heal can be used. It's all a ruse. The alchemist is not amused and will heal himself back up. Nice finds, though, by reset. Oh, is Kiwikaki overextending, possibly? He's about to lose a lot. This orb is just really good, everybody. Orb of Venom, turns out, the best orb, possibly. Staff is gonna have to be passed. He didn't pass the staff! Oh, bear in the back. Nicely done. The staff's out there. Love it! Reset. Got so many kills. Kiwi overextends. Didn't need to. And Farsi's just dead! What are you doing, Kiwi? Now the Alchemist is dead. What? What a throw! Reset. Making it work now. The question is, can he break this expansion? With these reinforcing bears, probably. A player's forces are under attack. Definitely needs these couple of bears coming in though to make it work. All right, Farseer back. Gonna catch out some reinforcements. Maybe staff out on this bear is a possibility. Oh no. Reset. Needs to heal these bears up. If he does, he's in such a strong position. Okay, this bear will fall. This one can be staffed out. Both the heroes back from the tavern, but that's 49 against 47, and this expo is just a burrow now. Dude, look how much damage these heroes do. Slowly creeping forward, everybody. Twas a dark night. As the bears take a ton of damage, the burrow's still up. Four on the Naga, can't complain with that, can we? Fork Lightning, ton of damage. Grunts against Orb of Venom just means that Orb can do even more poison. Hours though are gonna be up, they're not gonna be cancelled. More bears coming in though. I think Reset might just be able to attack move here. Oh, Entangle, Alchemist, nice surround from Reset, and that will be a dead boy. Heal scroll used, potion pass, nicely done from Kiwi. Wow, did not think he'd be able to do that. But still, Reset holds the door, or does he? Yeah, he does. He does, nicely done from Reset, not let that one slip away. Reset really tied this up. He really tied this up, didn't he? He said Hedder could beat bears. I was just trying to be a non-Night Elf hater for one game of my life, guys, okay? Thank you. And Kiwi is certainly losing this one. We're gonna have a 1-1 series. Driving a deep left field by Castellanos, and there's the GG, Kiwikaki. Ooh, on the rope. Ooh, we got a series. Ooh. Didn't think that would happen, but uh, here we go. Let's go reset. Tying it up. Ooh. Waiting for the next game to be posted. I feel like Naga was actually quite good there. I feel like Naga was quite good there.
All right, Concealed Hill will be the third and final map of the day. What an upset this would be if Reset could do it twice. It would be unbelievable. Just waiting for reset. He's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Smoke, that is probably a direct quote from me. But hey. Been trying to meet you. Ooh. Where's the baser at when I need him? He would have my back with that quote there. All right, game number three, Northern Islas. Kiwikaki on the ropes for some reason. A little bit of a throw there, possibly, but reset. Gets an advantage, does not let it slide away. Breaks the bank and breaks the expansion, but can he break Kiwikaki to get into the top three? Here we go. What did I say, Northern Isles? Concealed Hill. I lied. Northern Isles was game one. Must be the devil between us. What a tune. What a tune. God, that's a good tune. I'm going to listen to the Pixies all night tonight, actually. I've just decided. I'm going to play Clue. I'm going to cook some spaghetti, and I'm going to listen to the Pixies. I don't know how I'm going to do the Clue part on my own, but we're going to have a good time. 10 out of 10. Night tonight, okay? But first, let's see if Reset can make it an 11 out of 10 with this upset. Now I'd love to see Kiwi in, but you know he's a favorite here. You gotta you gotta root for the underdog, don't you? Gotta root for the underdog. Grunt opener for Kiwi Kaki, as he did last game as well. Or no, he did fast tech last game. It was in sub to play grunts on this map, right? And keeper again for reset. Yeah, Demon Hunter, ain't it, bro? Stick to what worked last game, and that was definitely the keeper on his side. A player's forces are under attack. Of haste. A town is under Not gonna be bad for that Naga later on, possibly. Could be a panda. Honestly, the Naga is. I'm going Team Naga after last game. Looked way better than the panda, surprisingly. But, uh, you know, panda's definitely better, but the Naga in those small supply skirmishes is definitely stronger. <laughs> Fire should just be called MK Air Attack. Reasonable. Weezer might have covered that song. I don't know. Did they? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm throwing I'm throwing Doolittle on on the TV on YouTube. And I'm gonna fry up some some spaghetti. Oh yeah. Oh, keeper gets a wolf. Seven seconds on that cooldown. If only he knew he could actually burn an entangle to get that next wolf. The XP is super valuable here in the early game for the keeper. If you're able to get level three and for the level two entangle, you can pretty much run to the orc's base and kill these grunts, kill the headhunters, kill whatever you want. Players' forces are under attack. Mm. 
reset. Oh, so close to level three. Oh, so close. Oh, my, my, me. But there's going to be shamans online soon. Kiwi, what is your play here? Just scouting around. But scouts everywhere that the keeper is not, apparently. Maybe by process of elimination, he will find Sentrius at the shop here. But not in time to deny the level 3. Or will he, though? He's got a chain lightning! Kiwi really screwing that up there. And there's level 3 on the keeper. And honestly, reset. Might be able to just grab a Naga and run across the map and do some serious damage. He's not going to win off that, but he could have a timing here. If he wants to go for the Naga at tier 2, get more mana on his keeper and just run into the base. Are under for now, though, goes for the Entangle Surround. Is that a bit too fancy? No, it's not! Oh my god, reset. Now I definitely think he could go use these Moonwells. Go here, grab Naga, attack into the base. And then go lures behind it. Weezer definitely did cover that song. Yeah, I've never heard the Weezer version. I mean, who needs a Weezer cover of that song when you have Kim Deal singing in the studio version? I mean, come the on. Come on. Under attack. You have played StarCraft 2, right? Correct. Correct, correct, correct. And he's doing exactly what I said. He grabs a Naga, gets mana on the Keeper. And yeah, he's not even going to creep this crab camp. He just goes straight across the map. I think this is... Great. I criticize Reset a little bit on Northern Isles, but I think this is beautiful what he's doing here. Don't creep the shop. I guess it's alright. It's not the end of the world. He's stealing away camps from the future Torn Chieftain, and there's no camp small enough for Kiwi to commit to other than that turtle. So this is all. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I'm fine with this. Copium. Look at the amount of damage the Storm Chieftain's about to take. Oh, block from reset. Oh, stomp to counter the block. There's going to be a tangle right now. Is TC just dead? No. First Shaman there on time. Still dead, though, isn't he? Wait, it's. Uh, 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 wait, oh, 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 e, uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. Reset just going to take everything else. Is reset winning here? He's going tier three. He's got bears that are going to follow this up. He could continue pressuring. I really think he should continue pressuring. At least until he's out of uh, keeper mana. Excellent. Early game from reset, though, for sure. I don't even think he lost much. Maybe one archer at most, right? And with the wards, he can maybe stop this TC from creeping. Oh, Kiwi's going to be so scared. He uses a purge? He uses a purge on that? Oh my goodness. Man, I think Reset is maybe giving Kiwi a bit too much space. I know he's low, but he has a town portal. He could have continued pressuring, again, at least until he uses that last entangle. Because the last thing you want to do against Farseer Headers is give the TC too much space to creep. Though Naga, yeah, gonna solo creep the Naga. A lot of good choices here being made by Reset. This is a nice game to be. For sure, the best game he's played so far, which is exactly when he needs this sort of performance. Naga's push from vulnerability. I swear to God, if he purges this illusion again. I mean, he's got a decent amount of shaman mana. Now he's got enough to probably purge it if he really wanted to, but. That illusion does stop Kiwi from salving. Yeah, it does stop him from salving. But Reset, struggling to stop me from salivating at his performance here, guys. As he comes in for the creep jack yet again. And he will do just that. Could even snag the fountain if he wants. 
And then he could probably get two out of three reds here if he took that fountain. Ooh, reset maybe a little bit scared. I do think Kiwi would win the fight. But there's a lot of low units here for reset to pick off. Ooh, he's got Orb of Venom now. Shades of Northern Isles middle of the map right now, but there's no bears, no rejuve. Actually, first bear comes in. Oh, this is Shades of Tidehunters in the middle of the map. Not Northern Isles, of course. Nice micro from reset so far. Super nice micro from reset. Fork lightning. Uh-oh. Kiwi cocky. Losing a lot here is their staff. There, of course, is staff for reset. Oh, chain lightning, though. An oversight. But reset getting so many kills. Level four. I th I, okay, I'm not going to say anything because I'm going to jinx it. But reset's in a fantastic position. And Bears only just now got online. Kiwi Kaki went tier 3. But where are his headhunters for Berserker? Where are his shamans for Bloodlust? Dryad finds. Oh my god, reset. Ancient Wars even at the fountain. You madman. Reset's trying to make me fall in love right now. But he's going to go towards the middle. He's expecting Kiwi to maybe try to creep this because Kiwi's so far behind. But now, because of where Reset's positioned, he can get both this middle and he can get this fountain afterwards. So Reset at most will get... Oh! Reset will at most get two uh, red camps and Kiwi will at most get one. Greater mana from the Torn Chief from again, though. Song Battle Drums, that's a great item. And Torrin is coming out, but his Keeper's on his way to level 5. If you deal with those Shamans, level 3 Entangle will pretty much one-shot a Torrin. And that is true. Oh, a lot of XP there. Grabs it. 38 versus 50 supply currently. Reset goes forward. Double staff now available, push him vulnerability. Riot just needs to get in range for that shaman to die. Oh, nice micro from reset. Getting the Dryad in range of a headhunter now to slow him down. Oh, reset plague out of his mind right now. He's styling. He's styling. He's wiling. He's profiling. He's going to get two unit kills here. Kiwi Kaki forced into the back of his base. Wouldn't be surprised to see reset put down an expansion, which is why Kiwi's scouting right now. PC comes in. Gets a stomp of the bears, but you need follow-up damage for stomp to be good. You can't just stomp and hope for unit kills. You need your units to attack behind it. Oh, maybe a little bit of over overextension from Kiwi. Fork Lightning. Torin is now here, but Torin without Pulverize currently. The Shaman falls. Oh, the Torin! Does get purged before Lightning. Speed scrolled out. That's going to take like four salves to get up, though. He's one HP. Okay, two HP. Reset. Pushing. Are Spike Barricades on the way? I would have upgraded Spike so, so fast here. Fifty-eight versus thirty-nine. Reset still with a very healthy army. Trying to shark for more damage, but he might just have to be happy with getting maybe all three reds at this point instead. I don't think Torrens are going to cut it. I don't think it matters. Torrens are not going to cut it. I'm sorry, they're just not. I don't care if you have three torrents, four torrents, especially without pulverize, they're not gonna cut it, Kiwi. And more peons falling. Reset, getting a 70 supply moon wells, and also getting the third armor upgrade, by the way. 
Here comes Kiwi. He said maybe overcommitting for this barracks. Oh, lightning shield stomp. I'm wondering if this is getting into town portal territory. Or if Reset can hold his ground. It seems like Kiwi Kaki take a ton of damage on the Torrent Chief, but the stomps have been huge. Mana potion might have to be used. But no, the Torrents just look, the Torrents suck! They suck! I'm sorry, they suck! And these are Bloodlust of Torrents. This is what Twitch chat says can beat any army in the game. But Reset is cleaning them up with ease. Okay, a lot of bears are starting to drop low, but the TC has fallen. And Reset just micros every bear back! Just everyone! Every single bear gets out. Staff can be used on this one. And look at this, Torrent. Kiwi trying to hold on. Oh my god, reset. He's doing it, the mad lad. Oh, Lucy and Dryad. Oh, it's almost daytime, though. He can't actually... He's got to go back and creep the fountain. I mean, I guess he's got Reju. Who am I kidding? He's got Moonwalls as well. And Staff. Torrent Chieftain. 30 seconds away. And here comes Kiwi, but no sooner does he push out of his base and reset his healed up again. No wellspring on the moon walls, so we'd love to see that. And reset. Could have even expoed in the middle, but if he expoed here, he could have just ran back and crept this and had an expo up by now. Which Kiwi's expecting. He's like, why else, you know, would you sit outside my base for so long? Other than just expanding. I think that is an Players oversight from Reset, but still 46 against 65, a 20 supply advantage. Still no pulverize, right? Am I oh he does have pulverize, good. Okay, he does have it. He does have it. And here comes Reset again. Level three entangle, as I said earlier. If there's no shamans left, we'll pretty much one shot a Torin. You can tell reset is like really like just don't throw the game just don't throw the game just play it safe don't overextend but i think he could overextend and probably win here i think he could just attack in and probably win oh wisps even being pulled reset doesn't want to take it any later chain lightning only gets one wisp though here comes reset kiwi the Torrens aren't doing a lot, are they? A couple pulverizes coming in. Nice stomps again. The stomps have always been great. But there's only one more left and no more greater mana. Oh, a couple bears falling, but there's staff. These two Torrens. Torrens always get to the back of the base, but running out of steam is Kiwi. The TC dies. This Torrent is not going to be saved. Reset did it! <laughs> He beat Kiwi, he's going to the vague qualifier. Level 5 on the Naga. Oh my god, reset. Just go. Just just be free, just fly, reset. Kill him. He's making it work. The huge underdog here. Keeper's almost level 6, and you guys know what that means. Oh, he's a little short on mana to get it, but he will. Oh, no, when he levels up, he'll have a Tranquility immediately. There it is! Give it to me! There's the Tranquility! <laughs> GG, well played. Reset with the massive, massive upset. 2-1 in Kiwi Cocky. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Reset. Huge, huge W there. Um, for Kiwi Cocky, of course, it's not the end. There's another qualifier next weekend which he can play in and he'll probably be the number one seed favorite in that qualifier so uh not the end of the road for him but for for reset i mean huge huge w there goes to the main the main qualifier